Okay guys, um, I've taken the diesel injectors out of my 2.5 turbo diesel bongo because it was uh, running very poor uh, on cold start and after a lot of research they found out that it's uh, most likely the injectors and with this lockdown we have now, I have some spare time I can work several days in a row on getting this fixed without trying all kind of uh, additives to the fuel and just have a better look at uh, what it's all about I found that actually that one of the nozzles was loosened in the block I mean I can't believe it, uh, the torque settings are extremely high uh, so it must, they must have been taken out before anyway this is a, a, a new chance in doing it properly so you can see I have the several, the four injectors uh, separated, uh, keeping the parts together, but at the same time I'm doing a verification measurement to ensure that um, uh, all the adjustments, original adjustments are still there. As you can see here, this is an adjustment shim. This adjustment shim is 1.24 millimeters and they all seem to be different. All four have adjustment shims and they're all different. They are there to compensate for the depth and the tension of the spring. If I measure the depth here, the depth is 25.04 millimeters. If I compare that with another one, you will see there is a slight difference. So the adjustment uh, washers, rings, uh, adapters uh, are there to ensure that all the depths are the same. So I worked it out, I made some adjustments here and there to make sure that they're all the same. And I'm going to reassemble it now, which means that I'm going to have to put the spring back in place. Um, and this, this one is already assembled. You can see here, it's a very basic assembly. The needle, I've cleaned out the needle. The needles were very, very dirty. Uh, carbon, of course, we used the, the throttle cleaner, the, the throttle cleaner for this purpose, uh, to, to clean out the needles and make sure there is no carbon residue anymore. So now I just have to make sure that I'm reassembling this in the right order, which is this. Um, so, let me see, I miss one little part here, which is similar to this one. I'll look for it where it is gone. So this one goes on top here. Let me just take it back apart to make sure that we're doing this in the right order. So you can see there is this adapter on the top. The spring goes in here and the total uh, result should be flush on the surface. Now this one will go on top here and this is the complete assembly that goes back in the holder. This is the holder so this goes on top of that and this screws into the block. So let's do it all and uh, when the engine is back up for running I will let you know how it goes. Okay. That's it.